Over the years, New York City opened the doors of its schools for a vast array of activities by local community groups, some of which includes dance recitals, study programs for students, Boy Scouts and Girl Scout meetings, flea markets, local sporting events, labor union meetings, and even the taping of TV shows like Law and Order. But the city specifically excludes worship services. Jordan Lawrence, an attorney with Alliance Defending Freedom, has been fighting on the ministry's behalf since 1995. New York City seems to have this kind of secularist uh, viewpoint, sort of a leftover from the 1950s and 60s, uh, this extreme view of separation of church and state that, uh, wow, if we let a church meet in a public school, there goes the neighborhood. The city of New York argues that by allowing churches to meet in empty public facilities, it is somehow violating the Establishment Clause of the U.S. Constitution. But Jordan Lawrence says that is not the case. When the government accommodates religious speakers, private religious speakers and private religious groups. It's fulfilling its duty to accommodate uh, and protect their rights to freedom of speech and religious liberties under the First Amendment. Attorneys with Alliance Defending Freedom requested that the U.S. Supreme Court hears this case and hope that the court affirms the right of churches to use public buildings like every other group and so the ministries can continue to love and serve their neighbors.